Today there are three different crews here. One is from Thermocor of Missouri. They're bringing the SIPs, the structural insulated panels, and they're gonna start putting them up over there in the kitchen area. Second is Schultz Crane, which is picking things up and putting it where they need to have it. And third is some carpenters from Glidewell who are doing whatever framing and attaching needs to be done. And it will probably take Oh, at least half this week, maybe a little bit more to get all the exterior walls up. Oh my god. That's all the panels. All these little pieces you're going to put in yeah. place? See, that this one right here is up there. Yeah. Here's the kitchen window they didn't cut out. There's another window there. Breakfast window, dog window. Cool. These guys are organized. I guess they have to be. So, oh, I see they've got little holes to put that crane thing through, and then they must fill up all of them. Yeah, then they fill them up. They fill them up. Very clever. These yeah. people are very clever. Here's the coat closet here. Okay, here we are at Thermocore in Taos, Missouri where we got the structural insulated panels for our deep greenhouse. Let's go all the way back to the 1960s. And back in my hippie days, we were always very interested in saving the planet. Ideologically, I still think that way. I like to look at it as not so much green building as it is energy efficient building. And the uniqueness of this panel system is that it uses polyurethane rather than EPS. The polyurethane is a two-part mixture that we inject into the panel, so it's uh, not a block foam. It's actually injected and it sets up inside the panel. Our foam is a class one fire rating, which virtually you cannot burn one of these panels where you can't burn. They keep their structural integrity until they're completely consumed. Cool, bro. this is me and my twin. So we have a closed cell gasket that would stick right in here on the interior of this panel. Whenever you have these two panels together, you can see where that foam gasket actually helps seal up the system. And that's the big thing to have an energy efficiency. You can have a high R value on a panel or on a system or in a, any type of house, but if you can't stop the air movement in a house, then you're, you're not really that energy efficient. So the air tightness makes a big difference on the energy efficiency. Now, having the solar panels, a great idea, however you want to heat and cool your home, but if you don't have an envelope that you can contain all that you know, heat and air inside, then it doesn't do any good. So the part that I like about the deep green that Nick is doing is that it actually is effective. 